Okay, today I want to show you a really cool trick in Scrivener on how to get multiple uh, files in your Scrivener document or Scrivener project to appear in composition mode. Composition mode is one of the really cool features of Scrivener, which keeps me coming back to it as my choice writing environment. There's just something about having it full screen, semi uh, semi transparent. You can pick your own background, uh, and all distractions go away, and you can set it up the way that you like it. That just keeps me coming back. And I'll show you my uh, composition mode right now. There we go. So here's my composition mode. You can see I have a nice background. That's the Delaware Valley water gap in the uh, in the back. I have this, the the uh, text is zoomed in pretty nice so I can see it. I can change my paper width, and it's it, this is my wonderful uh, writing space. This is my happy place to to do writing. Now, what happens is is I'm writing a story right now. Uh, welcome to welcome to the valleys on my blog. And the day after I make my post on my blog. I like to go back and do author's notes, and so to do that, I want to be able to have both my uh, my current document up and the notes that I'm working on. And in the past, I would just do split mode. Scrivener does a great job with a split mode. I can have a document on the bottom and a document on top. So if I click on the bottom window, I can go back, and here's my unpacking of this document. I'm writing my notes down here in the in the second one, but when I do that, I lose my ability to have uh, my really awesome composition mode that I like. So we're going to fix that. And what you do is you click on the image or the document that you want to have up on the side. So that would be the post that I did the day before. And then you hit the space bar. Now this is for, if you're using a Mac, you know what the space bar does already. It creates a preview uh, in, the, uh, in the finder for you know, documents and images and things like that. Well, in Scrivener, it opens it up in a separate little window here. But what's cool is that will stay visible even in composition mode. So here's, a, I'll go to my unpacking and I'll go to full screen mode. And you'll see here it is. Now, obviously it's being covered over for that. So what I usually do is this. I position my paper or my writing area off to the left and I'll lower the paper width a little bit. And now I have both the document I'm working on, which is my notes for the section, and the section so that as I go through, if there's anything I want to write on, I can uh, just go back over here and, and write on it and keep scrolling through. And once I get all my thoughts done, I close this window and I just reset my writing area back to the way that I had it before. So if you're interested in having two documents open while you're in composition mode, you can reference maybe notes for an article you're writing on or, uh, or research for a project that, that you're doing. Uh, you can now do that in composition mode and I think it's fantastic.